Welcome everyone. I'm feeling quite playful today. <coughs> My voice is a little rough. Let's let's hope that it works out. So I've got some tools here today. I have a tool to practice sensuality. You can either have naughty or nice. And today we are going to talk about sensuality and how to drop more deeply into our senses to become a better sensual lover. The title in and of itself speaks about it, right? Becoming a more sensual lover means learning to drop more into our senses, to have access to our senses, to being able to identify our senses. And so the practice that I'm going to be offering you today is exactly that. So in coaching, people come to me for different reasons. Sometimes people come to me because they need to access their power, their inner primal sexuality. Some people come to me because they need to, they wish to surrender more deeply to the experience. Some people come to me to become more sensual, to slow down, to feel more and feel more connected to their partner. So I'm going to say that what I'm going to teach you today is particularly good for the third one, but it really helps on all levels because it accesses, once we start to connect the brain to sensation and identifying those sensations in our body, it's a tool that can work for absolutely anything. It's tremendous. So this is a somatic practice. It works with the nervous system and the brain. And it's a foundational practice to help you become a more varied lover, if you will. So when we talk about, you know, those who are needing to tap into their power, into their primal self, versus someone who's looking to tap into their sensuality, into connection, depth, versus someone who's looking to surrender, Neither of these things are better or worse, right? There's a saying in Tantra that is no better or worse, just differing results. You just get different results in the end from each of these ways of being, right? But when we learn how to tap into all of these, surrender, our power, our primal, our sensuality, our depth, then we increase our range. And that... <laughs> I think we can all agree is really what makes someone a really good lover is when you have access to all of these things in the moment, not just the one thing, but all of them, then you get to choose, you get to play, you get to really um, react and inspire in the moment based on what's there, right? And all of these can be created by learning how to really tap into our body feel and learn how to identify what's actually going on so that we can either express it or just understand what's taking place in our system. Cool? Cool beans. So this is really a simple practice. It's not always an easy practice because it's, it requires to start reconnecting the brain to some sensation and parts of our body that have sometimes disconnected. Maybe it feels numb. Maybe it feels like it's just non-existent. So there's a lot of people that come to me in my coaching and say, I don't really feel my body or there's a part of my body I don't really feel. And you'll see in the practice if this is your case. And by doing this simple practice over and over and over again, like if you could do it daily for five, 10 minutes, it's tremendous what will start to happen. You're in essence starting to reactivate parts of the body that you've disconnected from that have been pushed aside for different reasons. Sometimes it's because of trauma. Sometimes it's because of uh, different operations or things that have happened, emotions that have been stuck there, whatever the reason, and you're reactivating that connection. This is a huge part. It's like becoming more whole with yourself, with your full body and your full experience. It's beautiful. So it's called a body scan. And what we're going to do is basically just scan our body from the top of our head all the way down to our feet and name the sensations with our voice out loud, name the sensations that take place as it happens. And I'm going to show you an example so you know what I mean. <clears throat> I'm 
so if I, I, you can keep your eyes open or your eyes closed, whatever makes you feel more at ease, more comfortable. And you're in essence scanning from the top of your head, right? So you're just feeling into this section of your body as you go down and see what sensations arise. So I feel like there's a tingling in my scalp. There is tension around my right eyebrow. There's pressure in my nose. There's warmth in the back of my head. So you're just scanning slowly down, all the way down to your feet, and naming sensation. So sensation is things like hot, or cold, or electric, or prickly, or um, expansive, or contracting, or tension, or I don't know, any sensation you can think of, that whatever comes up, you can identify it and name it and just say it out loud with your voice. <clears throat> so what we're doing is connecting various parts of the brain. When I first started this practice, I identified sensations in my body as emotions. So I would scan through and I'd be like, oh, I feel sadness here, or I feel anger, or I feel um, resentment here. I would not identify the sensation. So my brain was connecting to a different part, more the limbic piece that's in charge of emotions. And I had to relearn how to connect it to pure sensation. Sensation exists in the uh, reptilian or primal part of the brain, a different part of the brain. So you're really connecting all three pieces and recreating neural networks to reawaken all these parts of the body that have gone dormant, that have disconnected. It's really beautiful and very powerful. <clears throat> so let's do it together. <clears throat> so I'm going to let you scan. And I'm not going to do it out loud because it'll influence you. And it's just completely your experience. But I'm going to do it in my head. So just feel free to take a moment now to get comfortable in your body, eyes open or closed and scan from the top of your head slowly down to the bottom of your feet all the way through your torso your pelvis your legs all of it naming the sensations out loud with your voice If you encounter a part of your body that you cannot feel, you can say numbness. That is a sensation. And just notice that it's there. Don't try and create sensation. Just observe what's there. So I'm going to close this up right now, but you can repeat this um, at any time. And when we encounter this whole numbness, parts of our body that we're not feeling, it's important to just let it be as it is. 
And over time of doing this practice, you'll notice by just accepting that this part of us is not how we want it to be in the moment, will help it shift. If we try and push anything, the body tends to react and go numb even more. So just allow it to be exactly as it is, exactly if it's numbness, if you just don't connect to it, it's fine, skip over, get to the next parts. And notice how little by little, this part will start to um, reactivate, reanimate. And if you really find that after a long period of time, it's not, you can use your fingers in those numb parts and just tap a little bit to create sensation, to reactivate as you're scanning. And then notice what happens the next time, what happens the next time, what happens the next time, right? So Tantra is really based on a whole lot of acceptance of what is and not trying to force or push anything. So um, this, this helps tremendously with this. This practice is a foundational piece, right? So it's not really sexy. It's just kind of like boring and whatever, but it is so powerful. It's one of the foundational pieces. There are other elements such as learning how to breathe in your body in different ways, learning how to um, experience energy, right? So when people sometimes talk about moving energy in the body, all moving, all energy is essentially, when we're talking about that, is sensation in movement in the body. And so to learn how to feel that in your body or to feel the energy in your lover's body, you need to be able to identify it in yourself, right? You need to first start with feeling sensation, identifying it, and then move on to the, the concept of movement of energy. Another foundational practice is use, learning how to use the voice expressing yourself through the voice through moans groans learning to ask for what we want very liberating and it can also increase sensation and again all of this is just about increasing our diversity of potential experiences right we can be one particular way have our way of doing things fine but when we have a bigger range of potential for how we can have these sexual experiences with people that just opens things up for everyone. And that is the key to being the best lover, is to be able to respond to our partners and to ourselves in the moment with what's, what's needed and what is beautiful. Cool beans, so that was the practice. Um, for the next quarter, I'm gonna be focusing on um, developing and creating your sexy relationships and sexuality. And I am going to be offering up a workshop on the 15th, on January 15th, called Creatrix, where you are essentially going to create your most erotic scene for yourself. So you're going to decide what is it that I want in this workshop and create a beautifully erotic scene so that you can start to call in exactly that, to know what is it that I want in my sexy relationships make some decisions and then visualize the whole hot scene it's going to be fucking marvelous and you can get the link in my um in my bio which i will link in the igtv or you can just go to my name and you'll see my let's get sensual link it's there to register for the 15th and and i will see you next week same time awesome practices Loving you who are coming to watch these lives and welcome and thank you for those who are watching the replay. Let me know in the comments that you watched the replay by typing replay and ask me any questions that you need. All right, I will see you next week, lovers. Enjoy, enjoy.